everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to Rise and Shine. You know, I am so thankful that God's thoughts are not like ours. You know, Paul had a miserable life. He was beaten, he was shipwrecked, he, he was full of trouble, a repetitious trouble, the constantly of his life. But I want to tell you what happened in this story in Acts 26, 32. This is what happened to Paul. Because King Agrippa said to Fetus, Fetus, I'm sorry, Fetus, this man could have been set at liberty and free if he had not appealed to Caesar. So you look at the scripture and I would think Paul must be frantic by now, thinking, oh, what have I done? I did the wrong decision. I made wrong. Oh my gosh, why is this happening to me? Why, Lord, why? I could have been out of prison if I wouldn't have done this. Oh, why, Lord, why? And we can get into that. Why, Lord, why? When, Lord, when? When am I going to get out of the situation? When is the situation going to change? And look what happened to him in the next chapter, Acts um, 27, verse 24. And in verse 23, this is what happened. This is what Paul says. For this very night stood by me an angel of the Lord, of whom I belong and whom I serve and worship. You see, Paul knew who he belonged to. Paul knew he belonged to the Most High God, and he served the Most High God. He knew that. So because of he knew who he was, who he knew who he was in Christ and how much he was connected to God, he never complained once, never. In the next verse, this is what happened. And the angel said, do not be frightened, Paul. I am, it is necessary for you to stand before Caesar. You see, Paul had, was in prison, but God was reassuring him, it is necessary for this to happen. Sometimes in our lives, things happen we don't understand, but God has a plan for your life. He has a way for you to learn, to grow, to get stronger, to get closer to Him. Everything in our life, do you know that you belong to God? Do you know that He is there for you like Paul did? Because that's where we're headed. We want to be right there. We want to be close enough to say, I serve my God. My life is His. And then maybe one day you can see that big angel standing beside you saying, Fear not, I am with you. And this is going to happen, but I'm going to walk with you. You see, Paul knew who he was, and I want to be that strong in Christ to know who I belong to. Because everything in your life, it happens good and bad, but God is with you every minute of the day. Every second you have to walk through hard times. So let me pray for you. Oh, Heavenly Father, I'm going through a hard time right now. I'm going through financial trouble. I'm going through depression, anxiety. I'm frustrated. I'm in fear. Tell me, please help me. Why? Why, Lord, why? So, Lord God, I just ask you to help me. Flood me with your spirit. Flood me, Lord God, with, with, with your presence and with your strength and encourage. As I walk through this walk, I know I am not walking alone. For you said I, you would never leave me or forsake me. So hold my hand as I go through these circumstances, Lord God. And raise me up to a level that's higher of faith than I ever have been before. Amen and amen. Remember, I'm on YouTube. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Look me up and I'll... Press share with someone.